Hi gorgeous Taurus, welcome to your August reading. My name is JD and this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is really nice to check all your other signs as well because yeah, there's a lot happening astrologically so we can, you know, different areas are highlighted at different times. So sweethearts, in your meditation, I got the sense that there, there's just a lot to do um, and a lot of expectations and you sort of feel like saying, can I just live my life? Um, is that cool world? Can I just do my thing? Like it feels like you're needing to explain things or there's expectations, just a lot. And um, huh, a frustration that comes from that. And I feel like that is because we're in the shadow period of a Mars and Aries retrograde that's happening in September. So we're starting to feel that already. But I feel like you're dealing well with this. Um, one thing I would say is just be easy on yourself, recognize your strengths, and um, and yeah, maybe like the advice that I had for Aquarius as well, which was like chill, <laughs> this sense of just like chill, because there's just a lot going on. Um, what else did I get? And the meditation that came through. A lot to be done. Oh yeah, drop the self-judgment. And what's really cool is it's like you're being your own warrior. So that's how you're channeling this energy, which is just amazing. Because it's like you have stepped into this level of like, it's it's mastery, truly, Taurus. And it's like you're allowing, you know, this to fuel you even further in your creativity and in, you know, going forward with what you want to do and creating and shape shifting, you know, transforming your new reality. Um, you have the sun so well, first of all, let's talk about we've got Venus, your ruling planet in cancer so that's going to be a lot of home activity you know a lot of focus on relationships and what are your desires but it's going to be you know quite pleasant which is really nice um and then also um oh yeah what i wanted to say about that frustration and those expectations is just recognizing that people have your highest good you know at heart because you know it's like especially with like friends and family you know it's like they're, they're just trying to look out for you um so just sort of breathe and be like okay they're just trying to look out for me um and we have the sun going into virgo at the end of the month um your fellow earth sign so that's going to be really nice for you and actually it's going to be bringing in from about like the 17th or so we go from like love and home and you know um and getting these things done clearing space for the new and then you're going to be going into fun and light and joy and celebration so you got opal it's oh, beautiful it says your children on heaven and in earth are happy and well cared for by god and the angels that's beautiful taurus wow yeah spirit letting you know Oh my goodness. So you got Rochelle, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Yeah, because you've been making these changes. I do see you really working in the physical realm, like, you know, like being this like master of creation. And you've got Fiona. Now that you've asked for help, I feel like you got this last month that the angels are here um, to help. So be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help because that's the thing. You don't have to do it all on your own. Sometimes when it feels like, you know, the circumstance is overwhelming, just say, okay, spirit, God, universe, a little bit of help here, please. And the angels are here to help you. Let's see your romance angels because i feel like there's a lot of passion for you taurus a lot of information a lot of people got their eye on you <laughs> a lot of people noticing that i feel like that you've been enjoying yourself you know and um yeah and it's really nice you know and so you should you know do things that make you feel good and you know just taking care of of business See, we got one more. Okay, so you got express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, because you are feeling in the love, you know. And it's like this is, you know, this is 
this is the time to share the love and and you know and be in that you know beautiful compassionate place that you are and you've got finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now this has been coming up quite a lot um taurus and this is coming together and i think that by clearing space as well it's really going to help it's sort of like that that thing where you know when you clear out your closet like you give away seven items and then you win a competition for another item like it's that that law of clearing out for the new to come in and so yeah i think that that's going to be really helpful um with getting things in order and allowing that new opportunity to come through and you've got honeymoon, spending time with a loved one, you know, enjoying the bliss of, of time together and also dreaming in that future, you know, the, on the honeymoon, that's what you do. You think about what are we going to do together in life? How dreamy our life is going to be. And so, you know, this is really your time to be able to, um, to dream in that new reality. Yeah, just going and we've got a full moon in Aquarius, so it's going to be quite cosmic. You like you really be able to really dream, you know, and just end up allowing yourself to. So let's get your energy card for August. Oh, well, okay, one sec. Okay, so first up, love is for you, the sun, and that's what I was feeling when the sun is, you know, is going to be gifting you, well, first of all, in Leo, because it's going to give you this sense of confidence and strength renewed, and then, of course, it's going to be going into Virgo, so it's going to be, you know, this positivity and fun, like real deal fun returning and you've got adjacent possibilities and you know this is that dreaming in like you know and you don't have to just open the one door you know it's like you can be like let your mind be like what would it be like to you know to explore this career or why don't I find out more about um you know that line of work perhaps that's something I would be interested in you know it's like about you know, trying your hand as a painter and then a singer the next day, you know, really just exploring those possibilities and enjoying the journey of life. And you got rest and rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. Allowing your body, because, you know, when we can feel overwhelmed, it's like just taking that time to integrate, to go within. I've got a tone coming in for you and it's literally energy that's going to be coming in. Um, wow, cosmic. Aww. Make a wish, sweethearts. 32555 Mastery Change. Yeah, you know, taking time to nourish yourself and, and keeping that, that balance. Okay, let's see your ancient Egyptian oracle here because we do have the sun and the a lot of um, Egyptian energy. Wow. Proper burial for freedom. This is letting go of past energies, past addictions, past thoughts that no longer serve and making that proper burial. This is freedom and a new beginning and you're doing so with this mastery and this beautiful balance. It's like, it's like really breathing into the now. It's so real. It just feels so real, Taurus. Truly. And you know, you can do this by in, in so many ways and, and you'll know what works for you. One of my friends, like, he's, he went for a run and he just like ran it off. Like, and it was just like, you know, it was a situation that was hurting his heart. He went for a run and just like after that was like, you know what? I'm done. It's done. That's done. That situation is done. Um, you could take a bath or a shower and, you know, bless the water and say, when I, you know, pop out of this shower, it's like the water is going to cleanse me. It's going to transmute any energies to the light and allow me this freedom when I step out renewed. You could write down and, you know, put the, the thoughts or the concerns, the situation on a piece of paper and put it under the light of the unconditional flame, you know, and allow it to be transmuted to light. There's so many, so many different ways. But this is going to be happening for you in August. It's literally real. It's like this is actually real now. And this new light, this new freedom is coming through. Wow. 
Let's see the fairy's advice. And then we'll do a light card. Um, love is needed. And this is expressing your love and also that self-love, Taurus. And, you know, because when there is a lot to do and you know, things around the home and, you know, friends or family and just, you know, a lot to do, just taking that time for love and also, you know, realizing that you do what you do because of love. It's beautiful. Okay, a light card for you. Oh, flying. Transformation. I'm pretty sure, didn't you get this last month? It says things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. This is like sealing the deal on this transformation this month. It's like, whoa, I did it and I'm still doing it and it's done. And it's like, wow, you know, this new beginning is here. Look at you here and receiving, you know, these divine codes, this transformation and these divine codes that manifest into the physical. You know, you might be receiving dream messages, just inspirations, hearing, you know, um, you know, inspirational words, getting new ideas come through. This month is going to be really profound for you. Wow. And that again, more Egyptian energy, which is really like the, the gate of energy that we're in right now. So we've got a spark of courage card. Well, it's a matchstick see what you get the Taurus it says start a conversation with a stranger see if you can make them laugh <laughs> that's pretty cool I've not got this one before start a conversation with a stranger see if you can make them laugh I don't know if I could do that <laughs> of course you can do that you're Taurus <laughs> that's really cool if you do that write it in the comments I want to know like you know Maybe send like a funny text and if you get an LOL back, you have succeeded, my loves. <laughs> Mission complete. <laughs> okay. We're going to do, actually, let's go into your tarot and then we'll do your butterfly card. For Taurus. Yeah, but just returning to, to positivity and focusing on your strengths. <laughs> wow. Got a little bird here saying hello. Yes. Okay, Taurus. So in the past situation, we have five of cups. So this can show that there's been, you know, a sorry, a disappointment, feeling like things are out of your hands. And you can see in this picture, she's dropped these cups here. And she's focusing on those rather than the hope that is still here rather than you know the good that is still to come it's like oh i did this and i should, maybe should have did this and i made that decision that time and you know had i done this this would have and it's this card is like of the past and you're no longer allowing those thoughts to hold you back in your present situation sweethearts you got justice in reverse and this does not surprise me because this is that energy of feeling like you know, it could be a little imbalance or just like there's a lot to do. And um, this is just a reminder that you just take step by step, you know, and not to take on more than you can handle as well. That it's OK to say, actually, I'm not going to be able to do that today, but I would love to help you. Or, you know, it's sort of like um, not overburdening yourself. Um, and just sort of keeping that balance and allowing that time for rest and rejuvenation for yourself. So the hidden influence is the world. This is the new beginning. This is what's going on. This is the undercurrent of this reality, Taurus. This is, you know, the infinite possibility, the new cycle. Truly, it's like this new beginning. Gorgeous. It's like new learning, new giving. So the obstacles that you've got here is three of wands. So sweethearts, phone went flat and now we're back. So um, where were we? We were here. So this is the obstacle. It is three of wands in reverse. So it can show sort of um, 
This can be a lack of confidence in yourself. It can be just sort of like fear, doubt or worry coming in. And as an obstacle, it's just, it's something that, you know, you'll recognize and go, can you hear that alarm? Like, it'll be like an alarm. You'll be like, oh, I see what I'm doing here. And then you'll drop that. <laughs> the nice thing is that other people see you as this, the king of pentacles, you know, and, and you'll remember that that, the reality of this situation is the world, is that new cycle and sense of mastery, new possibility. So others, you know, the attitude of others is the king of pentacles. It's like he's half man, half bionic and getting charged by the crystals here and super cosmic, you know. And this is really beautiful because this is like the, the attitude of others. They're, they're perceiving you in this, you know, in this way of, of your truth. You know, and that's sort of the first step is embodying that energy. You know, once you once we clear that energy, then the rest flows, the reality flows. So it's like really acknowledging that strength again. So what you should do is six of swords. Again, this is acknowledging your strength. You know, and um, yeah, just really believing in yourself. And it's also about cutting ties from the past, past addictions, past thoughts, past relationships that aren't serving anymore. Letting that go, walking towards the new day, to the new light, to the new you, Taurus. The outcome is the devil in reverse. This brings reward, sweethearts. This is not an easy feat. The devil in reverse shows that you have overcome an energy that not everyone is capable or, or everyone's capable, but not everyone finds as, you know, I don't think anyone finds it easy, yeah, but that you've been able to do it. And so this is, this is a celebration. This is victory, success. You did it. Yeah. This comes with a reward. It comes with that that light at the end of the tunnel. It comes with freedom. And you should give yourself a big hug and be oh so proud of yourself, Taurus, because that is amazing. This is charitable deeds, you know, you know that are going to be coming through to you. You're going to want to express yourself in this way. It's going to just be this new sense of freedom. Beautiful. Let's see which Ascended Masters are guiding you for August. And then we'll do your butterfly card. One more here. So you've got priorities. That's going to be really nice with, you know, the things that need to be done and the step-by-step -step process. Detach from drama. There's the Six of Swords here. Uh, it's like, you know, all of that stuff or that mind stuff or that, you know, drama. Cheerio! Oh, cheerio! Because <laughs> you're stepping into this. The power of joy. The power of joy brings abundance, it brings luck, it brings your higher destiny, and sweethearts, it brings love. Twin flame type of love. With the swan, the symbol of 2020. It's a really profound year for twin flame connection, both on a spiritual and physical level. And this is what you're doing. You've done the work, the step-by-step -step progress. You've let go, you've made space for the new. You're stepping into joy, into power, into knowing your strength. And here you are, creating that divine destiny. Taurus, feel so happy for you, sweethearts, truly. You got windfall, luck is on your side. Enter a competition. <laughs> To get windfall and you got healing from the past and finances it's happening luck is coming in bless you taurus sending you so much love and light always thanks so much for being here i truly appreciate it you can press like and subscribe to join me here in september and just have an amazing august enjoy that luck that's coming through for you that that you know that love and, um, and just remember how strong and beautiful and amazing you are. I want to draw one more card. 
<laughs> I can never let you go. Not ever. Actually, we drew from that deck. Earth deck. Earth deck. Fog veiled. Because it's lifting. It's the real, real now, Taurus. It's the real, real. Lotus flower unfoldment. Awakening. True love. Bless you. We'll see you soon. Ciao.